Hello, this time I'm going to be doing a comparison of the Louis Vuitton six key holder in the Damier Aben print. At first glance, the color difference is pretty obvious in this video, but I found in certain lights, it was actually kind of hard to tell the difference. It is possible that in the past, Louis Vuitton has printed versions that were slightly darker or slightly lighter. It's always helpful to double check what year it was printed and what the prints looked like that year. Authenticators can usually help with this as well. The cases, the authentic's a little bit wider than the fake. The design on the back, both matching pretty closely. This is the edging finishes on both of them. They both look pretty good, uh, except the Authentic just has a darker color. They both feel pretty comparable. The Authentic does feel actually thinner, um, but they're pretty close. Looking at the heat stamps, this one is the Authentic one made in France, and this is the fake one. Here are what the buttons look like and their detail. This one is the Authentic. This one is the fake. The differences are actually quite big now. It seems like they are making the newer ones with uh, the newer model button. From the website, the leather ones generally came with this button, but it looks like they are putting it on the canvas ones too. But the replica one matches closer to what the website displays still. Here's the logo comparison. They're both pretty similar. The button quality seems pretty comparable. They both clip in pretty well and stay closed. They both have pretty rough leather interior. It was a little bit hard to tell if the fake hat was plastic or leather. The authentic one does feel softer a little bit. There's a slight color difference and pattern difference if you look carefully. The only way I was able to confirm that the fake was plastic was by feeling the inside card holder. You feel the back of it. The fake one feels like plastic and the real one actually feels like soft leather. For the inside hardware, they both have similar qualities. On the authentic, you have a little tab you can push to slide the bar out and each of the little key holders are removable. On the fake, it's built kind of similar, but the gold is noticeably cheaper. Still has the button tab to push and slide the bar out. Each of the key rings can be removed the same way as well. This is how the hardware got attached to the case. On the replica, you can notice that it's been attached in a bit of a cheaper way. For smell, the replica definitely smelled of chemicals and plastic, whereas the authentic had a bit of a different smell, more of leather and maybe some of the glue that they used. Thanks again for watching this video, and I hope it helps somebody out there who's looking to buy from the pre-owned market. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments.